Welcome to Who the F***, the show that aims to take a deep dive in some of the acts announced Reading and Leeds 2019. In today's episode, we're looking at The Distillers. They're an LA punk band who haven't released any music in a very long time. 15, 16 years? If you've never heard of them before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, Who the F*** are The Distillers? The Distillers are made up of four band members, Tony, Andy, Ryan, and Brody. They're from Los Angeles in California, United States, and I don't think you get much more of an LA punk sounding band than, than The Distillers. Uh, I was reading an, enemy, an old NME article about them the other day, um, and one of the paragraphs says, their MySpace profile cites influences including My Bloody Valentine, Black Flag, and Rocky Eris Erickson. I found this amusing. No one uses MySpace anymore. God, it was, those are the days. Simple. Their most popular song is a track called City of Angels. It's currently sitting on 6.4 million views. However, that did come out in 2002, three years before YouTube was even a thing. I came across them in 2002 with their song Sinisa Falls. Oh, I discovered this the same way all kids did in 2002 on the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater soundtrack. This one's featured on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. This is, without a doubt, a way of discovering music which I miss hugely. GTA, GTA, FIFA, and Tony Hawk's are the three ways you would discover new music. And GTA comes out once every like 50 years, so that's not fair. And I haven't bought FIFA since 2001. Their song Beat Your Heart Out was also featured on Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Baby, you and my heart Tony Hawk's Underground 2, a brilliant soundtrack. Fe oh, was that the one that featured Atmosphere? I think it was. An incredibly underrated game as well. They have a back catalogue of three albums, but haven't released any new music since 2003. That's because they broke up in 2006 to go start solo projects and, and new band. This means if you're going to Reading and Leeds for the first time, and you're, you've just finished your GCSEs, and you're 16, their last album came out the year you were born. Fuck, that's old. However, at the beginning of 2018, they announced that they were getting back together, and at the end of 2018, they released their first new music. With talks of an album coming out in 2019. This makes sense. They're booked for Reading and Leeds. Brilliant. They've played Reading and Leeds before, once, in 2004. That was between, they played before the Hives, after Jurassic 5. What a day that would have been on the main stage. So they're back to play the Sunday at Reading, and I think that means the, the Friday at Leeds. And in terms of which stage they're playing, it's really hard to pick. I really hope it's not any other stage but the main stage, because otherwise it means they're probably going to headline and therefore clash with the Foo Fighters. That would be bad. They've kind of got this old <sighs> hype. They're, they're kind of a name that have been around for a long time. So I could see them being headlining the Radio 1 stage. Um, they'd also work really well headlining the pit, but as I said, that would be bad because that means they'd be clashing with the Foo Fighters and I really want to see them. So, I hope that they're playing the main stage. Maybe they'll play just before, and that might be cool. Or like, mid-afternoon, that would be brilliant. I think with the new album coming out this year, they're, they're due a, a mammoth return. They've got a big fan base, and I'm only beginning to discover them properly now. Granted, 15 years too late. So I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10 on the likely to see scale, just as long as they aren't clashing big. Just like you don't turn down the opportunity to spend some time with Dave Grohl, I think the same can be said for not hanging out with Josh Holm's wife. <laughs> Thoughts in the comments section below as always. Are you going to go see the Distillers? Are they a band that you love? You know, the demographic for this channel is kind of my age, so I suppose a lot of you will know the Distillers. Spoiler, they're brilliant and I'm really enjoying listening to their their albums. I've got to find a new way of coming up to end these videos. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.